Welcome to another Fast Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Are you trying to make a continuous form in Microsoft Access and it's not working? Well, I got asked this about three times this week. This is one of the more popular questions that comes up. So let me show you what I see people doing all the time, why it doesn't work, and the real easy fix for it. All right, so you got yourself a database and you want to make yourself a continuous form like I've got right here. They look pretty, they work well, okay? So here's what I see a lot of people do. You go to Create, Form Design. First thing I always do is give my form a splash of color. Let's go with that, okay. Then we go to the Forms Properties, go to Data, set the record source. In this case, we'll just pick Customer T. And I usually get rid of any filters or order buys that show up in there. All right, now we're gonna to go to format and we're gonna change it from single form to continuous forms. Okay, that means they should appear one after the other. Now let's add some fields. We'll go to form design, add existing fields. I'll put in customer ID, first name, last name, and email address. Click, drag, we'll get rid of the labels. We don't need those. All right, I'll put the customer ID over here. I'll put the first name next to it. I'll put the last name next to that. And then finally the email address, make that a little bigger. Okay, everybody's looking good and happy. All right, let's save this. I'll call this my customer new list, whatever, F. Okay, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna open it back up again. And it's not working. I can scroll through the records, either with the navigation buttons or I can scroll up and down with my scroll wheel, but I'm only seeing one at a time on the form. It's not working. Let's check those properties again. Design view, form properties. Yeah, it's set to continuous forms. What's wrong? Why isn't it working? If you know, pause the video and put in the comments right now, I know, and tell me what it is. This is extremely common. I see it all the time with newbies, with beginners, people who are just using Access. We love you. That's okay. You're here to learn, right? Here's the problem. This detail section has a height. And if you scroll down, look at that, it's way down here. All right, so move your mouse over that border, click and drag. See that, now I'm making it shorter. Now I'm making it even more shorter. I'm gonna bring it right up there. Okay, now save it, close it, open it up again, and there you go. Now it looks more like a continuous form, see? Okay. Another thing I don't like is this alternating background color. I think it looks nice on some reports, but I never use it for forms. So in here, I'm going to go to the detail section, click on the header. There's a back color that we just set earlier, and then there's an alternate back color. I'm gonna set that to no color, and it will just get whatever the color is up here. In some of my earlier videos, I'd set these to the same thing, but then if you change this in the future, you gotta remember to change the other one too. If you set it to no color, it just adopts the background color. Save it, close it, open it, there you go. If you want to bring them right together, like mine here, I, I don't have any spacing between them. That's not hard to do either. Design view, just come in here, click them all, slide them to the very top of that section. All right, get them right up next to each other like that. And then drag that bottom up as high as it'll go. All right, and you can bring in that right side too if you want. Make sure if this guy is a date field, you leave enough room for the little calendar pop-up if you want that. Okay, save it, close it. Open it back up again. Look at that. It's starting to look good. I don't like data sheet view. I don't like data sheet views look too much like tables. I don't like working with these. All right. I prefer the control and the formatting and the VBA-ness that you can get with continuous forms. One other thing you might want to do is you could turn on the form header and footer. Right click. There's a form header footer and a page header footer. We don't use the page header footer because the page header footer only shows up when you print a form but we don't print forms, we print reports. So we're never gonna use this. Form header footer. Okay, that shows up on the screen. And again, here's a section here. You can give it a little bit of color if you want to. I usually click on the same color that's in the detail section, right? Then drop this down, go to more colors, and you can make it a little bit darker. See that? You click down here, make that the same. If you wanna put totals or something down here. I got videos for all that stuff. If you wanna put a label up top here, you can. Go up here, grab a label, right? Drop it right there on top, drag it across. Now, if you want, if you move these around a lot, yeah, make individual labels for them, but sometimes you can cheat and just make one big label, right? Customer 
ID, and this can have spaces in it because this is what the user is actually going to see on the screen. We don't put spaces in our field names, people. First name, space, 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 last name, and then email over here. That's all. That's good enough, right? Make it white so people can actually read it. And again, I pick the standard colors. I try not to use the theme colors. Because themes can be easily changed, and it, they can easily make your database look like garbage. So, <laughs> so there you go. There is your customer new list. Looks like that. Oh, maybe left justify that. Left align. Sorry. I always call it justify. There we go. Save it. Close it. Open it up. Boom. And that's nice and pretty. But that's the number one reason why people's continuous forms don't work the first time is because that detail section is too tall. Like I said, I've seen this question three times recently. I get it all the time. All right, so that is your fast tip video for today. Hope you learned something. And if you have a question like this, no matter how silly you think it might be, send it in. If I like it, I'll turn it into a video. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry. These free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.